Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. So looking at the US 30 right there, you can see we have multiple bounces trying to get through 18,112 uh, and a failure to do so yesterday and actually a bearish engulfing pattern there uh, being posted and now we're uh, getting quite close to that 18,000 potential support level. Uh, moving averages are flattening out uh, as we've been unable in the US 30 to break up that much higher. Uh, I think the uh, SPX 500 actually managed to reach an intraday high before biotech earnings dragged the whole thing down. And uh, as you can see there, we've actually just recently had a, a negative cross on the slow stochastic there above the, uh, back through the 8% level there. So certainly in the short term, there'll be a little bit of pressure there, but as it is uh, earnings season, anything can happen. But incidentally, 18,000 could be the next pivot uh, point for the US 30 going forward. So looking at the UK 100, we almost briefly touched um, uh, the, the second highest level that this market has uh, in, in its history, only then to jump right back down again. Strong doji formation right there, and we flatlined again a little bit there today. All the technicals looking relatively flat. MACD not really showing anything. RSI is neutral, and only slow stochastic there a few days ago posting a negative sell signal. Um, but we're a little bit away from both moving averages. So we might get drift just as the uh, the Fed actually is about to begin its two day meeting uh, to think about interest rates. So I think that concludes on Wednesday. But we'll come back to that in just a second. But the FTSE trading at 70, 75 right now. So moving on to Japan 225, uh, and you do have a Bank of Japan session due on Thursday, where there is a very small possibility that there might be more stimulus involved right there. But Japan 225 doing quite well. I presume dollar yen is probably ticking above 120 right now. Um, so above 20,000, uh, which is uh, looking quite quite tasty there. Um, but the longer term potential resistance is 20,868. Uptrend channel still firmly in play. Uh, very similar uh, pattern to the other end of the says Matt D's neutral as is RSI with only slow stochastic showing a little bit of negative divergence there actually so that's something to be careful of uh, but around about 20,095 was an old resistance level which now might be expected to act as uh, what was a new potential support might act as potential resistance again so let me just try to draw that on there a little bit more accurately there we go okay so moving on to dollar yen just slightly below 120 in fact um, actually, a bit of negative divergence between dollar yen and Japan 225. That's a little bit unusual, actually. Um, but nevertheless, looks to be around about 119, and this has been in play for quite some time. Uh, as it seems to be kind of oscillating around this level. Uh, most other technicals looking pretty neutral. Matter of fact, everything's looking quite neutral um, as we begin just to get a narrower, narrower consolidation right here around about 119, uh, and it's a break through that. Uh, either a bounce higher or a break down below that, that's going to be the next phase for dollar yen. And obviously, if there's a uh, rise in interest rates in the US anytime soon, that could be the breakout catalyst. So, moving on to West Texas crude uh, at 2015 highs at the moment, um, the conflict in Yemen and other unrest in the Middle East helping to push this back up higher. But we do appear to be entering another period of consolidation, a very tight, narrow range between. 57 and 54 spot 85 technicals you've almost got a crossover in the MACD uh, you've got a sell signal on the RSI and very close to having sell signal on stochastic so not that surprising after this little uptrend right here unable to break up that little bit higher um, but it's still something to, to bear in mind I think the most recent reg data that came out of the US showed there's a, a big decrease in the number of regs for exploration that's a, a positive for crude oil West Texas and you've had the US dollar wobble a little bit as well, which helped me push this up a, that little bit higher. So moving on to gold, uh, gold had a great day yesterday, bearish and a bullish engulfing pattern after uh, almost an entire month of, of, of slow declines, um, trading above the moving averages. All the other technicals are flatlining. All depends on the US dollar now. Twelve eighteen potential resistance. 11.86 potential support. Now finishing up now with uh, your dollar and GBP USD. So your dollar touching this potential downward sloping uh, resistance line. One spot 0.786 is still the potential support level. That also coincides with the 21 period SMA. Other te technicals are relatively neutral. If we do break above here, this would be the first time it's actually made some higher highs of significance for the whole month. So it'd be interesting to see if we can actually just get above here. So anything above 109.40 could be seen to be bullish in the short term as Greek try as Greece tries to furiously tries to come to some sort of deal with its creditors. That's adding short term potential support to the euro just as the dollar begins to continues to wobble on mixed data. So looking at cable, cable's been absolutely smashing it as we're getting quite close to the general election. 
on the 7th. Uh, one spot 51.85 was a potential resistance from the broken. One spot 54.24, the next potential uh, resistance. Technicals are moving into overbought territory. Not that surprising after this uh, this decent rally. It's basically gone from 145 all the way up to, um, to 152 in a very short period of time. So that's not that much surprising. But one spot 51. 85 could be the potential support level to be aware of if we do get a drift down there that could be an interesting springboard action so market calendar wise today we've got uk gdp you've got us retail sales and you've got um, cci over in the us there make sure you've got your recurring alerts set for that anything that's set here red is going to be worth being aware of in fact i didn't have my alert set for there so uh, let me just quickly add that on there, reoccurring alert. And if you fast forward on to Wednesday, you've got German retail sales, UK house prices from nationwide, uh, and German CPI, US GDP, um, actually got loads, housing index from the US, weekly petroleum sales for those of you looking at Cradle West Texas, and you've got the FOMC, Fed decision rate plus statement, due tomorrow at 7 p.m. UK time. So that two-day meeting starts today, finishes tomorrow, and that's going to be a, could be a, a little bit of an interesting announcement when uh, details emerge later on tomorrow. Well, anyway, join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.